Ladies and gentlemen, the lights are on. My name is Black Bagman. I can see again. It's nice. We uh, got the lights working again, but well, I mean, we're in we're, a completely different place. Yeah, we're in a different building. What are we even talking about? <laughs> I don't know. It was, it's been a few days. That was that was a wild ending to Raw. But here we are. This is Thursday. This is SmackDown. This is Colorado Springs, Colorado. Oh God, high energy. All right, folks, we're starting off a SmackDown Live with tag team action. We have Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain. Uh, well, you know, one out of two ain't bad. All right, and Tyler Bate's probably just coming up behind him, but this is Mustache Mountain. Well, we'll see if we can... Versus... I mean, that's just him. Okay. Smackdown, Titan Tron. Uh, Samson just put a thing up on the screen. Says it's just Trent Seven. Okay, Samson, let us know what's going on there. But this was supposed to be Mustache Mountain versus the Ministry for number one contendership to the club's tag team championships. But Tyler Bate isn't here right now. No, Tyler Bate. Maybe we'll. we'll Samson, might, uh, if you find any footage, feel free to throw it on the camera for us and for the people at home. Not camera, the screen. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Maybe he'll show up later. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's... Wait, so does that mean this is a handicap match? Uh, do technically still a tag team match, but potentially a handicap match? I don't know. Okay. Um. Well, I'm nervous for Trent Seven. Why? Because we all know what happened last time the Ministry was in the ring in a two-on-one situation. That was a triple threat match. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> is this the first official handicap match we've had uh, in UCB history? Accidentally, yes, I think so. No. No? I think it was Brown and Brock versus Vince McMahon yes. in week one or two of this series. Yes, that happened just recently, actually. So, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. So you're gonna look at things here now. I'm gonna actually try to find that, but I'm pretty sure you're correct. I think it's like week two, week one, maybe. Where I think Vince. Uh, I think the general manager had a had a bone to pick with Vince, so he put him in there. And yeah. then Vince ended up siding with Bro with 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 Brock. With yeah, week one, Vince McMahon, Brock and Braun. They opened the show, and Vince impressed Brock so much that <clears throat> he sided with him. Yep. Yep. But you know who um, impresses me a lot. It scares me twice as much. Me? These two. Oh. Well, you say that, but they, they've, they've, they've been very lackluster in a lot of their opportunities. I'm hoping this one here goes a little bit better for them. I mean, they have the odds in their favor, at the very least. Yeah. But it's just the mask. I think it's just Seth's mask. Just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Trent Seven don't care. He doesn't care. He's talking smack. But he's currently facing, you know, two fantastic solo superstars in their own rights. Um, you were saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey! Oh, wait a minute! Hey! That was a reversal! Yes! I'd love to see it! I, I completely thought that was all Reigns. Love to see it. There you go. Trent Seven knows what he's doing. Okay. A little quicker. A little quicker on the draw than Reigns is. But now he's down and out. In the corner. Tag team move here. Roman's holding him in place. Kick to the gut. Another kick. Backhand a chop. Trent is down on one knee here. Yeah, it ain't looking too good for the proprietor, the founder of Mustache Mountain. I don't know if he is. Uh, I'm going to call him the Prospector. The Prospector of Mustache Mountain. You know, like those old-timey dudes with the, mm -hmm. with the hats and the weird stuff looking for gold? Yes, I do. I understand completely. But uh, yeah. can, can we also just talk about for a second how at least, you know, the last time when Seth and Roman were in, a, in the ring with only one other person, uh, they, they didn't have to... Abide by. Oh! Oh! Nice backbreaker oh catching God. the spinning kick there and just, just taking out Rollins. Um, well, anyway, this time around, the two have to abide by tag team rules. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rollins is just watching Trent as he just face plants into the mat and then 
Spiked him into the corner. Yeah, I don't know what Trent went for. I think he was trying to do a baseball slide of sorts, catch Roman's knees as he was coming into the ring. A beautiful just slap shown complete disrespect here. But yeah, I think he was trying to catch Roman, but he just oh. missed and face planted. Beautiful. Oh my God. One handed power bomb. Roman let him out of that one. Yes, he did. I guess he ain't done yet. My God. Yeah, yeah, but last time, Roman and Seth, they were... They were Roman and Seth. Yeah. They weren't the dragon and the innovator. They were, you know, working alongside the dead man. Who, by the way, hasn't been seen in months. Oh, Irish Trent the court. looked like he was trying to get something there. Oh my god, poor Trent. Big drop kick from Seth. Oh punch the god. gut, punch the face again, down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Collar and elbow. There he Trent's goes. Fighting back. He's but... trying. Oh. oh my god. A knee to the side of the head. Seth and Roman are not letting Trent have any sort of offense. He gets one little move and he's fighting. He most certainly is. Oh, oh there you go. A chop block out of nowhere. Not just a chop block. Oh, a close line over the top rope. But that chop block was to the front of the knee. Yeah. That's a great way to tear someone's ACL clean off the kneecap. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But right now, Trent Seven standing in the ring by himself. Uh-oh. He tried. He did. Ugh, he went for it one more time. It looks like he's going for a roll-up at that point there, but it just does not quite work for him. That was, that was the best opportunity he had so far. You're absolutely right. Irish whip. Oh, failed at that Irish whip. Yep. Northern Light suplex. Oh, God. Just, just... You gonna end it here yet, boys, or are you just gonna play with the food a little bit? I think they're playing with their food. Just a little bit frog splash from the top rope. I don't think Rollins is is playing around anymore. No. Oh god. Alright. Alright, just get it done. Oh, uh, I think it's about to be over. Assisted power bomb. Throwback to the shield a little bit there. My voice just cracked immensely. Oh, much like Trent Seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that man is now unconscious. Okay, no, what I, oh my god. That was unfortunate. We gotta find out what happened to true uh, Tyler Bate there. But the Ministry are moving on to Fall Brawl to face the club. Wow, club versus the Ministry. I feel like we've seen that match before. But I, I'm excited. Championships on the line. I feel a little bad for Mustache Mountain. They didn't really get a chance. This, that, this, this was their opportunity. Yeah, but... Something happened. Yeah, must have. I mean, I'm sure you guys at home will find out as soon as we do. Probably before. Probably before. Let's be honest. But that was the opener. Still got two more matches yet, folks. This is going to be a longer one. All right, folks, and here we go. We are in the middle match. This is Zelina Vega, Sonya Deville. So this. Oh, yeah. What in the heck did Sonya was just trying to do something, came up short, and then just ate a series of blows from Vega. Now, this is the finals to the SmackDown Women's Loser Bracket. The winner of this faces oh. Dana Brooke at Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl? Fall Brawl. The most brawliest fall there ever was. The, of them all. You're gonna, have, the, you're gonna have a ball at the Fall Brawl. Yeah, we're working on slogans. Can't you tell we're only two days away from the show? Yeah, the, you'd think they would have marketing on this, but no, God forbid. No. you think we would have, you know, your match card ready for you. We'd have that up on the screen so you could see it. No, you have to stay tuned to social media for that. Yeah tomorrow most so, likely we'll see what happens there as Zelina Vega has Sonya Deville into a hole and just wrenching the neck there but you know what else yo plastic what's coming up after fall brawl what's happening after literally fall brawl? the day after fall brawl uh Monday raw raw yeah raw yeah raw it's raw you got me I was trying to play a trick on you don't do that. I don't like. I don't like <laughs> brain pun things. Brain puns. Brain. Sh brain shut up. Puns. But, but in all seriousness, though, the week following Fall Brawl, Fall Brawl, the following weekend is gonna be a brand new pay-per-view 
Experience. How? Free preview. Experience. Oh. Look at these knees. Yep. Sorry to cut you off, but that's gross. Oh, okay, that's continue. A, it's okay. Brand new free preview experience, and it's gonna be the return of Cyber Sunday. Where did it go? I don't know. It disappeared for a long time because everybody hated it. But we're bringing it back because we're joining forces with a charity. Which again, charity, charity, UCB meets charity round three. But you guys will have to stay tuned to our social medias to find all that stuff out. It used to be wrestling on Twitter. Yeah. First time we've ever plugged that Twitter on air, but that's okay. Oh, bumping into the ref. High kick. Oh, oh kick, kick in the ref. <laughs> <laughs> the poor ref. Oh my God. You're going to take a few bumps tonight. Yeah, apparently. But either way. Oh my God. You guys have heard it here first. Oh my god! Stay tuned for all the information. Yeah, absolutely. Keep an eye on the Twitter account at UCB Rasslin. You can vote on the matches. Yeah, it's gonna be huge. So that's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. But you know what's a bigger thing? The winner of this match. Which oh, oh my god. Simon Bill got her. Huge oh. DDT. Okay. That's a rope break though, ref. There you go. Good job. The referee actually keeping an eye on the matchup here, which is good. Vicious blows. Those elbows, man. God, look at her. You know what? I think Zelina Vega is my new favorite. She could go on and win the belt. Oh! Oh my God! You speak, and it's done. That was a quick match. Sonya Deville fought through so many opponents in order to get to this spot here. But Selena Vega just DDT. had to win once. That DDT. I want another shot of that. What do you even call it? Look at this. That thing. Oh, like sunset flip, but she springboards off the bottom rope. Holy crikey. If Selena Vega pulls that off against Dana Brooke, this Sunday at Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl. We may have a new champion. We might. Oh my God. All right, folks, the main event of the evening. This is the conclusion to the Drew Kind Tournament of Pain Fatal 4-Way Elimination Matchup. We have Vince McMahon who faced Braun Strowman in a last man standing match. Roderick Strong getting his face stomped on who is in a first blood matchup with Luke Gallows Oni Lorcan of course Russian leg sweep though Russian leg sweep I gotta cut you off for that one it's, it's, it happens oh my god what is Vince doing over there oh spinning yeah. heel kick just took out the referee took out the referee but last week Oni Lorcan and Alistair Black faced off a knockout match yeah world's first ever knockout match in UCB right. and by the way um, Oni Lorcan sticking to that. The ref gets one. Yep. By making Rusev knock down the ref there. But, um, did you see that? As Rusev is just completely taken oh down by Lorcan here. Jesus. But, the only person we haven't mentioned yet is Rusev, who won a submission matchup against Roderick Strong's undisputed era partner. Oh, God, sorry, I was focusing there. Kyle O'Reilly. So every single... Oh, my God. Pile driver! We have had a nasty series of matchups between these two. Between these four people, for all of them, they've had brutal fights, and they're not done yet. They've had to earn their way. Nice back suplex there from Vince. Yeah, Vince McMahon, and oh, I'm going to be honest. I feel like Vince is going to get this as I think he's going for a pile drive here on Oni Lorcan. Oh, he just did one to Rusev. Now he hits Lorcan with one, and yeah. Rusev here is just struggling. Oh, with Roderick <laughs> Strong. Winter. Vince just walked in between the two. And gets, gets an uppercut. <laughs> what, are you, what is happening? I I'm, Honestly, I don't know. Oh, my God. Strong just gets thrown across the ring. Okay. Lorcan just gets thrown across the ring, and it's just down to... Oh, my God. Rusev seven McMahon, who gives a vicious bulldog to, <laughs> to Rusev. Back suplex once again. Now, this is an Extreme Rules matchup, but for some reason, I don't think they're able to go outside of the ring here or that, or they're choosing not to. Uh oh Oh. Rusev just broke up something. Oh, did you just see that vicious headbutt from Lorcan? I did not. 
I was paying too much attention to what Rusev was doing because he's just being a troll. Went for an upper kick. Upper kick? Upper kick. A side hit, side round no. kick. Oh, but Roderick Strong in a nasty submission here. But Vince not breaking it. That's the thing. This is an elimination matchup. You got to be smart here. Oh, went for that spinning drop kick. Comes up extremely short. A very short. Oh, God. There you go. Needs a big clothesline. And once more, they're choosing not to break up the pins that you see, the pins, the submissions. It's all just going. It's all just happening. Whoa. Oh, new fireman's carry there. McMahon is down. Getting back to his feet. Not a big yeah. clothesline. Not for long, though. Oh. Oh. Inside cradle. Is that a rope break, though? It should be. No. Oh, good job, Vince. Just. Oh, my God. That knee from Roderick Strong there. Oh, big clothesline. I'm, not, I'm just watching here. I'm trying to see what's happening. I think Vince is doing the same thing that I'm doing, scouting out here, seeing what he needs to do, who he needs to grab. And it's everybody right now. Oh my God. Is he going to suplex him onto Oni Lorcan? It looks like it. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> On the legs. Oh my God. Dear God, in for the pin now. Oh, but Oni Lorcan able to kick out here. Roderick Strong immediately back on top of him. Oh. Oh. What's that called, Astra? It's an STO. That's an STO. It's an STO. You likes that one. I do. Machka kick from Rusev. Machka kick from Rusev. Curb stop from Roderick Strong. Oh, God. Kick out at one, though. I mean, it's just a super kick. I mean, it's gross. Oh, what was that? Powerbomb. Oh, what? my God. <laughs> what is this? It's a pedigree from Vince McMahon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Why are you pulling him towards the ropes? Not there you I go, think, ref. I don't think there's a rope break, but also kick out before the ref's hand even hits the mat. Yeah. What is Rusev doing? Running it's for another clothesline. Getting a lot of momentum. Oh, oh, God. Went for that knee. There you go. Bring it up. Saving Oni Lorcan, but Roderick Strong is undeterred. Undeterred? Yeah. What is this? Alabama slam. Oh, God. Oh, my. Wait a minute. Wait oh, a minute. Oh! It's a modified version of the accolade, but the ref just broke it up. Did he? Yeah. Oh God, stunner or, from Vince. Or did Roddy just, I'm not sure if that was just extreme resilience from Roderick Strong or what just happened, but Oni Larkin is the first man out of this match. It, oh my god, okay. Kick out at one. Rusev is still in this. Whoa! Nice reversal there. <laughs> Roddy Strong with the <laughs> arm drag. Just totally baits Vince into charging yep. in there. Oh god. But then there he goes. Deck. Rusev crawling to his feet. Going for the pin. Forearm in the face. Nope, not enough though. Not enough. Not at all. Big back chop there. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh. Going for something. Uh oh. Oh, now wrenching the neck. There Mr. He goes. Man. Okay, Roderick down. Oni's gone. I'm actually surprised he was the first one eliminated here so far. And to be fair, I said this last week during the episode where he knocked out Alice for Black. He would not have done that. Oh my god, spinning drop kick. Finally connecting for Rusev. But I don't believe he would have done that without the help of all those weapons. So I'm actually not surprised Only Lorca is the first one out here. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Just Rusev. a shoulder toss. That's it. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Okay. Rusev is absolutely unhinged right now. I almost thought he was going for the accolade there. Oh. Brody, how you doing? That was a savage slam there from from Rusev, and it's a nice headbutt. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh oh, oh, oh! But the low blow from Vince, the referee letting it go. Again, kick out of one this time though. Took that extra second. Yeah. To, to get out. Okay. In for the pin once again. Kicks out too. Okay, he's getting for like an extra second every time. Every Maybe time. The next pin. Uh oh, wait. What just happened? What is going on? Okay. Did what just happened? Oh! Oh! 
that backbreaker though yeah i don't know i think the referee was having some words with vince i i don't think he was happy with what he did i don't i don't think he was either okay <laughs> just kicking dirt the absolute insult to injury from vince mcmahon here just maybe rubbing it in the face of the general manager maybe but at the same time didn't drew gulak or drew kind sorry pick all of these opponents Drew Kine picked everybody. Yeah, so maybe this is salt in the wounds for Drew. Maybe. More than anything. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Pedigree again. Oh, okay. But you see, when Vince hit that, he, uh... He staggers. Why do you roll him towards the ropes? No, there's no rope breaks. We've, is there? We've established this. Have we? Kick out of two once again. Roddy's getting to his feet. McMahon is getting frustrated. Oh, but wait. Uh -oh. Snap, <clears throat> nice snapmare from, from Roddy. It doesn't really want anything to do with him, though. Oh. Okay, just choking him out on the ropes. Rusev is just sitting idle right now. Yep. Trying to get his wits about him. Low kick to the back, but Rusev just completely Ow. not phased by that. No, he isn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's an absolute uh-oh. As far as I'm concerned, as a stomp to the forehead. And now... Oh, it's not the time with Roderick Strong. He's literally looking at you. No, sir. But looking at him here right now, Vince McMahon and Roderick Strong are both busted open here right now. Oh, my God. I think. I thought I saw Roddy. Why did you just turn to Vince? I'm not entirely sh sure. Okay. I'm a little bit thrown off. We just had a weird yeah, we issue. Don't, I don't know what that was. Not entirely sure myself. Ow. Oh my god, German yeah. suplex. Oh, went for a big move there. Got ducked by Roddy. Oh, Russian leg sweep. I missed it earlier. I didn't miss it this time. You did, you did. But well, that's okay. Oh, nice back chop. But... No effect on Rusev whatsoever. Machka kick! But he's down! He's down though! Oh! McMahon in to steal the victory! Not quite here. <laughs> Rusev just standing the test of time. Is that enough for Roddy though? Yes. It is indeed enough for Roddy. Uh oh. Alabama oh. slam! Oh god! Rusev, the modified accolade! And oh, McMahon is this nowhere to go. Is this going to be it? Vince McMahon taps out. Much like Kyle O'Reilly as Rusev moves on to face Drew Kind. Rusev won the tournament of pain. Ladies and gentlemen, he just waited for the opportunity for McMahon to stand up. Hits the Alabama slam. Moves into the accolade. And Vince just can't. Just can't handle it. There's the Machka kick, as we saw a curb stomp as well. Vince eliminated two of the four competitors. And moves on to Fall Brawl to face Drew Kind. Unbelievable, Astra. Absolutely incredible. We will see you guys this weekend for Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl! Not holding it this time. Go home.